Okay, so this is going to be a quick video. My voice is a little bit raspy, you guys. Um, hopefully, I'll be able to come back on. I am in the midst of working out some kinks. <clears throat> and doing other stuff. So, when I do come back on, we're going to... It's not going to be a lecture because I'm not a professor. I just watched five minutes of this clip, right? And as individuals, I'm not going to keep going over this, okay? Why is it so hard for liberals who are supposed to be professors? <clears throat> why is it so hard for them to understand when ethics and integrity is removed so far removed from reality so far removed from real identity so far removed from um different various realms which are essential realms why is it so hard for them to grasp that ethics and integrity are two components which are not only valuable pretty central see this is what we are not going to do we're not about to keep playing this cat and mouse game because that's what i call it individuals who refer to themselves as scholars need to stop putting their feet in their mouth and they can basically put up or shut up and that's with that's respectfully even though they are not respectful themselves because all they do basically not all of them but for the most part liberal professors all they do is try to sway individuals opinions change individuals minds present fake information to them as if they're supposed to take it with a grain of salt no we're gonna call a spade a spade so ethics and integrity are two important very important components when it comes to any realm especially financial realms especially educational realms and we call it academia when it comes to higher learning Scalia warned how detrimental it would be when you attempt to elevate zombies and sheep who themselves are not even mature enough for education at the higher levels and I don't know what type of courses Mr. Peterson or other colleagues like himself have taken individuals have to take an array of different courses not because they want to not because they want to feel smarter not because they think that they are above individuals they take those courses so they can have basic and or comprehension and knowledge when it comes to different subject matters. So theater, sir, happens to be my hobby, but I'm not playing right now. You'll know when I'm playing because I'll be like, just kidding. I don't have to sugarcoat anything. And I select Jordan Peterson because he's a perfect candidate. Because he's supposed to be some type of scholar. He's supposed to. I would have walked out of that lecture. These ungrateful ingrates. I don't care what their social economic status is. When it comes to social status, sir. You yourself are so disconnected. Not only from reality. But you lack interpersonal skills. When it comes to communicating. With other individuals who do not always look like you. And that's perfectly okay because I normally walk, walk out of uh, lectures which are not only boring, but something that I can't take and reapply to my own life, basically. Uh, uh, reapplying to the social worlds in which we live and never seek to coexist, sir. Because individualism in 2022 is still important. And it, at least it is for me. That's individuals, digital blueprints, pink prints. That's individuals' hard work, blood, sweat, and tears, sir. 
you need to check yourself. <laughs> That's what I was getting at. But individuals have taken theater arts, but this is not exercises where drills to uh, show individuals how to enhance their own skills so that no, so that they understand what makes them shine to separate themselves from sheep and zombies, basically. And the sheep and zombies cannot compete with individuals at simplistic or complex levels. That's what the gag is. And my project has been turned in in 2015, sir. And that project was very important. Very important. And you yourself, if you want, a, you do you want a box? I'm pretty sure you and with your Oxford degree or whatever you have, um, Cambridge studies or what have you, I'm pretty sure that you will get a whole box of junk and there you'll be able to dissect it and analyze it. Now, the financial part, you're probably like, ew, Scooby-Dooby-Doo, you don't need a mathematician, so we don't have to worry about that. But Scooby Dooby Doo on this, when it comes to real assessments and when it comes to uh when it comes to real reports, and when it comes to we're not talking about comprehensive reports, we're talking about clinical assessments and evaluations. You know the part that is so disgusting? Mental health fraud. I don't call it mental health corruption, because that will be giving sheep and zombies at the bottom too much power. Knowledge is power, sir. Respectfully check yourself. And I knew that this day would come and so did Scalia. And that's why I keep using him as a former Supreme Court justice as an example. He was a little bit more toned down, but he said it just like it was. I mean what I say when I say that, yes, there are real scientists in this universe, sir. What a little S and I are, because as a woman, until I get respect, I'm not going to respect you dickheads. How about that? You know, I'm not upset. <laughs> I like to. I told you guys I used to do public speaking. Um, and shout out to my my base professors who always promoted critical fucking thinking. <laughs> How's that for stellar language? I know one thing I do not engage in, and that's blasphemy, sir. What a little S-A-N-R. And my Spanish is only a little bit because I have to deal with these jive-ass civilian IT quote-unquote specialists. And they fake believe they made my job harder. I kicked their ass, rightfully so, intellectually. And my projects were sent to D.C. and Virginia. And other sheep and uh, zombie retards get stipends and all kind of scholarships. And on good faith, I turned in research that these idiots, not all of you, these idiots at universities try to claim credit for my work. Bullshit. I know my work when I see it, and that's why I get my black nigga Irish ass in front of this screen, sir. I owe you nothing, and I owe nothing to liberal professors. Respectfully. And when I am in controlled environments, individuals with or without a clearance know that I do not use profanity. I do not become upset, which it takes a long time to get me there, sir. If I haven't kicked ass physically when it comes to motherfuckers stealing my fucking identity misusing it to play stupid ass loans in my name and my monies have to go to that bullshit fuck that time pause that's why I'm pissed off has nothing to do with anything else and other individuals are pissed off because their retirement was stolen their little shekels were stolen because their social security numbers and personal identifiable information was misused I don't have time to keep playing with these clowns. And when I say clowns, I'm talking about your pupils, sir. <laughs> Not your pupils. I'm kidding. Yeah, so I'm getting some of my little theater arts out of the way, you guys. So I can come and chit and less chit and more chatter with the American people. And um, I have no desire to ever enter the entertainment world. Um, other people do that type of stuff. I am not other people. I am a nerd. Don't get me confused with a real genius. There are real geek squads out there. Real geniuses. Eureka. Real individuals who have all they did was study their entire lives or whatever. And those are the geniuses. Those are the individuals who are real programmers and real software developers and real mathematicians. Real Jordan act like he have a problem with astrology. 
not the little taboo way that people like to play with tarot cards, sir. We're talking about metaphysics, or is that a little bit too out of your clinical psychology range, i.e. field? Stop playing with my intelligence. That's the only thing that I expect. That's why I don't sit on panels, and that's why I don't... <laughs> Excuse me, Foxtrot News. That's the only fucking reputable fucking media source that's out there. Because <laughs> we know independent media isn't doing anything at all anymore, darlings, because they got sponsors and they get to sell all kind of bullshit that you really don't have a use for. Shit they might break on you. <laughs> and here I am using this seller language because um because I can. I'm a woman and I can do whatever I fucking want. As long as I'm not stepping on individuals. I mean treading individuals territories. Trampling upon their simple liberties and their rights, sir. Like these civilian IT specialists attempted to do with government personnel. Stop playing with me, sir respectfully i'm never going to publish any articles because these sheep and zombies don't read any motherfucking way it'll be a waste of my motherfucking time and energy and i don't normally curse like this i start cursing like this hanging around based military personnel and other types of essential workers sir i know you guys don't give a damn about them but i do the ones who operate in good faith i give a damn now, I don't have to I didn't have to bring my ass to social media at all, sir. I could have just been doing flips in my I could have been baking cookies or something. <laughs> not from scratch, because I'm not Betty Crocker. <laughs> How many minutes do we have? I'm not gonna be on here too long. I'm about to take me a shower and um I'm about to get some rest, and that's what I do faithfully, sir. <laughs> I get a lot of rest, believe it or not. Even in the midst of executing many comprehensive reports, because now I have to replicate the huge reports that were sent that was sent to Virginia and DC. Stop insulting my intelligence, sir. <laughs> I don't speak to Jordan Peterson, you guys. And if I ever saw him in public, I would not even. I would. It would be like I never saw him. I wouldn't even say anything, because um, I don't say hello or goodbye to individuals who do not have respect for individuals' intellect, basically. And I knew that this day would come when it comes to these so-called scholars. And that's why individuals needed to make sure that I was not severely indoctrinated like these sheep and zombies who attend universities. Not all of them, just the ones who faith believe that can control white and black people. No, you cannot. Absolutely not. And I am, I'm fine in my habitat, which is to be around computers. I don't, you know what I'm saying? I don't need fancy supercomputers, Elon Musk. <laughs> I don't need any of that. And individuals, I got my work done, sir. Tell the sheep and zombies to catch up because they're the one prolonging these unnecessary chaotic issues and uh, problems when it comes to cyber intrusions and or illegal activities, i.e. Ponzi schemes and other uh, criminal enterprises, sir. And if I had a badge... I would have given the American people some real entertainment, sir. None of that. Um, We're going to do some Marvel. No, it would have been bigger than Bar Marvel, sir. Without the SJW-ish bullshit injected inside entertainment. So, I wish someone make a movie or something. I don't have a budget for an, a documentary. Because these animals have stolen our last pennies. And I'm down to my last $2 like Wendy Williams. <laughs> I don't need a conservatorship and I don't need motherfuckers mismanaging. We don't need, we the people do not need motherfuckers mismanaging our money and having the audacity to show us or tell us how to spend it. And as for all these other low vibrational wannabe wolves of Wall Street, you jackasses don't even know what a clean portfolio look like, a stock or a bond if it bit you in your asses. That's what I have to say about that. And I don't talk about that anymore because other individuals who, you know what I'm saying, have bigger jobs, have dealt with certain issues and they write, well, no, nah, they remedy their wrongs. Their employees were out of line. Their civilian employees were totally out of line. And they have only one more corrective action to take. I mean, to make, and that's probably going to be a minute, consumer protection. Okay, so when it comes to the dirty stocks and the portfolios and the bonds and all, real businessmen know what look, real work looks like, okay? I don't get into that because that mission has so far along ago been complete, Mr. Peterson. And that's the financial realms. 
So other financial realms still have to be complete. And until then, I will continue to say hello to the American people. How you doing, you guys? I miss you. Only individuals who respect me are individuals with high level clearances. And I'm perfectly fine with that. I don't care. That's all I know. They never disrespected me and say, you don't know what you're talking about. Sit down, midget. They might say, suck it up, buttercup. I've already gotten, you know, people have already told me, God damn, your skills are like immaculate. And it's not on a genius level. They know what I know how to do and they know what I'm capable of. Now, I've already given them a few doses of my ass whoopings intellectually without using fancy uh, health care jargon, sir. <laughs> and I yield back to Congress. Where is my stipend? I'm not going to do any magic tricks or flips or I turned in my homework and I want to get paid for my research. And I've also given other low vibrational creatures the uh, luxury of even being able to see my eyes. Normally, I only fucking, I only get along with individuals who are very smart. They're smarter than me. Who do you think taught me certain things? And then I had to double back, turn around and teach other individuals in certain fields, certain things, because they have never seen any bullshit like this before. <laughs> it's very sloppy. It was very messy. And I so long ago mastered these programs. Sir. <laughs> All right. The programs did not master me. And I myself was also a test. That's why these creatures who stole our identities and misused them, they can't say, oh, we stole information and stole it because it was poor. We poor. Fuck that shit. They call kleptomaniacs thieves. You little, uh, y'all are horrible. And I hate you and I can't stand them. I can't stand anyone who think if you click a button. Have you watched the movie Ghost? <clears throat> Watch the movie Ghost and you see that motherfucker sweat when he realized Sam diverted the money that's how these motherfuckers are gonna sweat when they realize money laundering was not worth it at the end hallelujah to transparency they click buttons and they divert individuals wages colonel potter sir i use him because he said that he did ai and welcome to the club sir you're just a little bit we are from different worlds basically so <laughs> <clears throat> individuals like when he speak about biblical things like the bible he's supposed to he's he's i'm sorry i'm stuttering he stated that he was some type of historian so that's why i subscribe to him i don't subscribe to him because he was a uh he wasn't an mp he was a colonel in the military he is a colonel in the military he's like i'm not in the military anymore sir once we sign that dotted line where are we gonna go so all I can do is make the best out of this boring, mediocre. It's boring because having to do work by yourself is not very exciting. And I've completed the work already. And other individuals have completed their missions. And I'm very proud of them. And I'll never be able to meet you guys. I've met other individuals who are very, very smart. And they're guys. So I've met women too, but... They're not retired yet, so I don't talk about them. Um, some of them have retired, and some of them are enjoying what they call that life of retirement. The old school way. Um, I don't have much to say, really, Jordan. I don't have to talk at all, sir. And classified reports are never going to be released because these zombies and sheep are ingrates, and they're also degenerates. I don't like them. I don't communicate with them. I would never, ever sit in a classroom environment with them, period. I would never, ever engage in any type of intellectual discussion or conversation with sheep and zombies. They operate on feelings. We operate on facts. They operate on feelings. We say apples versus bananas. Tom Cook, no, I'm an Android. I like to, I am not an Android and I'm also not a supercomputer. I just like to, I thought it would be cute for individuals to <laughs> to hear different voices, basically. I just thought it was some funny theatrical shit, that's all. I, certain clinical psychologists 
That's they're disconnected from the universe. They read in so far into stuff. Not all of them. I've sat down with individuals. They kick their feet up and they just they talk about their lives because even they need, as I've told you guys, even they need people to speak to. Someone that's gonna be regular, someone that's not gonna be using that stupid ass jargon. You know what I'm saying? Talking about coffee and bullshit. Someone that they can truly be like. Look, here's, you know, they can talk about their history, basically. So that's the cool thing when clinical psychologists or real counselors, not fake ones like Felita Hannah Poole, sir, when they're able to sit or, sit down and have regular grown-up conversations without feeling as though they will be shunned because they talk about certain things that are grown-up, that's grown-up shit. <laughs> so that's the part of it all. So shout out to the real essential workers who are based and operate on ethics and integrity because um they're valuable they're essential i don't want to go into that world mr peterson yes you were literally um i'm not as passionate about psychology even though i have a niche for it i'm not as passionate about psychology like i was about theater arts or uh passionate about poetry passionate about writing i'm a writer sir i'm not an author because i have not published anything I mean, I post. It's a publication. I'm not about to waste paper to write a fucking hardcover book, sir. I'm not wasting the trees like that. And to this day, I don't even know if trees truly come. I mean, if paper truly come from the trees. I do know that the the earth is quote unquote flat. <laughs> it's some type of realm <laughs> out there. We don't know what the fuck it is. And I don't care at this point. But shout out to the flat earthers. You guys are bananas now. Break it up. Calm down. I just thought it'd be funny to inject that because we were so boring. I mean, we were so bored. I was like, what can we do that would be so hilarious? Because NASA, they like to play. And so do I. That's why I used to call them at 3 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> I used to call them. And I'm pretty sure they're like, oh, my God. Like, <laughs> It was something cute, though. It's not nothing like NASA. My heart was broken. Like, I understand why other independent people while other individuals did not speak about certain things my heart was broken and shattered that day <laughs> the earth is definitely the numbers did not it's not making sense the not the math isn't mathy neither talk about do this flip upside down spin in a circle i'm being funny when i say that but it's some problems it's some salute you know what I don't even want to discuss that. I don't want to go back to that day. I'm sitting up here and I'm thinking. I wasn't just thinking. The math wasn't mathing. And I'm not perfect at math, but I do know just like when I see this fake data and these manipulated numbers, I don't go bananas. I say this is bullshit. And how did it even evolve? 2015. Oh, because I hate Trump so much. I'm sorry that you hate Trump so much, but real business people are not going to be playing these diversion games and hide the money. That's their paychecks that they're playing with, Colonel Potter. It's not something that people could just shake off a money tree. It's no different from if individuals are in the military or in civilian worlds and you look at your check and it says zero dollars. <laughs> Even though you've worked and worked and worked. Free labor is slavery. And Kanye tried to tell you how slavery was a choice. He can't tell you because he doesn't have a clearance. <laughs> and he doesn't even know how to explain himself. Which is why he should have left discussions, certain discussions, up to the girls. Talk is cheap. <laughs> Kanye is sure is, sir. I only mention Kanye because he sung that song. Wait till I get my money right. Oh, people keep stealing my money, Peterson. So I tell the colonel I want it back. I'm going to fuck some shit up intellectually. And for you dickheads who are jealous because girls are smarter than you. So much for Obama say let girls learn. Other individuals let me. Why can't the civilians leave me alone when I'm here in this space on YouTube? I don't need to know anything else. That's up for God to know everything. And he sees all. And knowledge is also power. I don't use knowledge for bad deeds, Jordan Peterson, like your colleagues, sir. And like your pupils or your former pupils. Or I'm just using you as an example. It's not you, but other 
liberals are out of their fucking retarded. And it's perfectly okay. And that is why individuals were whisked off into <laughs> underneath trees and we learn how to read. We don't have to depend on liberals to teach us. We don't need no we don't need any indoctrination, excuse me. Because I say we don't need no indoctrination. We'll have the English majors coming out saying that's a double negative. Cram your books up your asses, okay? And stop playing with my intelligence and stop playing with the intelligence of other individuals who are very smart. I told you they're smarter than me. I don't want to be that smart because those individuals, I'm pretty sure, feel some type of they can't have regular conversations with dummies. And some dummies with these plastic degrees, they only operate based upon feelings. So how did they do when it came to real science and you have to do real experiments and stuff? Did they, were they like, fuck the hypothesis, we just want, no, fuck your feelings. We're not doing that. Just like in English, you start with introduction. In science, you start with a hypothesis. And then you test it using various types of variables and controls. And then you derive at a conclusion, i.e. solution. My solution is... Stop stealing from federal employees, former and or current. And that's what pissed me off, Department of Defense. And I don't speak to civilians anyway, not like that, unless I'm talking about music and entertainment. And it's not even that much entertainment, entertaining. That's why I have to take a blast to the past and I have to rewind and do some time travel. And I listen to oldies and I listen to rock and roll and I really hope these civilians, I know individuals who are expert composers. <laughs> so I don't need your beats or anything. I'm not an entertainer, but I will be entertaining because I jot. I mean, I, I said I jot. I thought the American people would need, you know, some humor, some social humor, since this is social media, right? Right. Flagging individuals, channels, getting mad at people that have to do comedy out of an airplane hangar people getting their pictures taken down out of improvs that is not funny and it's not hilarious and then they want to cram bullshit that's not comedy we know what comedy is comedy brings the american people together and if you don't like individuals comedy turn the fucking channel stop flagging individuals channels And other individuals don't have their heads far up their asses and they don't give a fuck if they milk a goat or a cow. I'm not milking no goats. <laughs> and I'm I'm not doing that type of shit. Now, I will tend to the garden, my own garden that I create without invading individual spaces. Individuals want to see how individuals, you know, got started doing monologues. Um, Greg Gutfield is on Foxtrot News. And I'm glad that his program was not rudely interrupted because then individuals would not be able to laugh. Because end of these sheep and zombies in the social media streets, they're not funny. They're just retarded. How's that for autism, Mr. Peterson? So, um, I just want to, uh, I like to make people laugh, but I'm not a comedian and I don't know how to do monologues. I used to know how to do them. Like when I'm relearning and learning different things, I have to erase certain things from my memory, Jordan. Because, you know, if you clog up your memory too much, you know what they say about that, sir. Um, you can short circuit like a, <laughs> a deprim robot is what I did to those mini computers. I deprogrammed them. Not the way that real, you know, programmers would do. But I had to interrupt their little criminal cyber party that they had going on hallelujah so i have i'm doing my work sir so i don't know who's not doing i know who's not doing their work because i will be able to talk about more poetry or talk about creative writing and talk about certain stuff like that instead i have to talk about boring technology um i.e boring technology boring technology boring technology that i oh, okay you got all right Ethics and integrity when it comes to data management and processing as well. Um, I don't want to just talk about tech. I don't use their jargon. 
And I'm pretty sure some civilians was like, he, he, he. The joke's on them because I knew that those assholes would not help us solve these issues when it came to the OPM breaches. So I had to create and coin certain terms. And we used that, those terms internally. So regular individuals in IT, they would not understand what people were speaking about. We say the regular ones. I'm talking about the dummies that I can't see. But I know that they sit behind computers because they like to play with numbers and digits. This is not hidden figures. The party is broken up and it should never have gotten started. I told you we're out to kick ass intellectually. And I've already proven my points, like I said, Mr. Peterson. I don't need any Cheerios, darling, from civilians. And if you're not the civilians that I'm speaking about that stole our money, then I have no issue with you. But for all the assholes in the social media, like in these YouTube streets, go, go, go and mind your business. When people sit up there and pose, you know what I'm saying, issues of concern, that does not mean that you're invited to sit at their tables. Create your own stupid, low vibrational, I don't know what they're doing right now, and I don't care because it's not entertaining. So I just finished watching Sonic the Hedgehog one and two and one was a lot better um if you guys are looking for interesting movies which doesn't have all that sjw bullshit injected in it check out scarlett johansson in ghost in the shell or you can check out black and blue how's that for upload jordan i don't dislike him i know that i would never sit in your uh your uh closed environment when it comes to higher learning i walk out and I get my money back. I'm like, I'm not about to pay to be indoctrinated. I had to do that with this jerk. He was had some boy. I was like, uh uh, uh uh, uh a slave, darling. Hands made tales, maybe history, lineage. <clears throat> I want to start. I don't know about metaphysics, you guys, and I'm too busy doing other stuff to even speak about that. And I would probably have to, you know what I'm saying, get additional teachings and learnings. And I'm not about to waste my money like that again. So, um, well, not waste it, but I'm not about to wait. It's, I can't do this. I understand why private institutions, universities, I understand why they exist now. And so the sheep in a, in a low vibrational zombies and dummies can't interrupt intellectual discussions, which does not involve nor integrate feelings. Now, do Jordan Peterson want to object to that? That's a legal term, by the way, FYI, is if you didn't know. But he do know it. He know it. Objection can be reapplied to different realms. When I say object, I'm talking about legal, real legal, sir. So, Mr. Colonel Potter, individuals sought to destroy individuals' military careers of nine years, sir. I don't have nine years, but I have enough experience on to meet my belt to make the boys brag. <laughs> thank you guys I'll never see you guys again but I hope you guys are off to doing better things enjoying your lives enjoying the sun the moon and the stars um I enjoy reading and writing and I enjoy poetry uh I'm boring so that's why I enjoy playing with the hula hoop um what else do I enjoy I couldn't go to Jamaica to enjoy a vacation because I was so wrapped up doing stuff and I had no choice and I've been finished my homework Jordan in 2015 sir so we <clears throat> so what I'm doing right now sometimes I do recaps and sometimes I just make individuals laugh because I'm not great gut feel I don't know how to do monologues anymore like that and when I did do them I didn't have to read from a script. I can remember all of my lines. So that's the fascinating part about of it, point of it all. I can remember every single line. No one wanted to go behind me after I stood up and did my monologue. I was tired of being neighborly. I was tired of being friendly. And one day when I found a monologue, you guys, because I forgot it because I had to deprogram myself in order to learn new information. So... I'm grateful to have met a lot of outstanding and excellent achievers is what they are. Um, they do not wear their titles on their sleeves. They do not have to wear a title with a medal. So I'm grateful for being able to interact 
with in me greatness is what I call them and you too can be great I've reached my maximum people's like don't say that I have reached my maximum and so as a hobby I write poetry I don't become bored because there's a too many there's there's too much stuff to do you can do a crossword puzzle which I don't like I used to like those you can draw you can do a lot of things to occupy your time you don't always have to be you know what I'm saying have your face cramped in stupid books that's the point I'm trying to make and books is just one thing sir real social interactions and experiences that matters as well and so does merit so that's the point that I was getting at so individuals only individuals with a clearance understand me and I never expect other people to get me and I don't give a fuck sir quite frankly it's quite 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 frankly you midgets quite frankly Scarlett my darling I don't give a damn I rewrite the lines and say quite frankly darling I don't give a fuck sorry I wasn't listening but that would never be me because I understand that communication is very essential no matter what realm, what social realm you are a part of and never seek to coexist. I yield back to Congress. They're like, why y'all is mentioning Congress? To tell them, look at all of these sheep and zombies that these liberals created. They can't compete academically. So they like to rewrite American history and they like to manipulate and misuse personal identifiable information and data so the data is with the federal government y'all the base side and i don't want i don't need a medal i don't i do not i don't want joe biden to touch me <laughs> i don't need any medals or anything like that i like being in the basement and i like to dance and i like to have fun with you guys i don't like to be on television um, I'm a little shy unless I'm around individuals that I'm comfortable with, which nine times out of ten to be based individuals who are retired from the military and stuff like that. And it's not even about that. It's because, um, because a lot of them are smart, believe it or not. So... They're old. That's what they are. Some of them are old. I used to say old geezers. <laughs> I was like, that's not very politically correct, is it? But it was just a joke. So some of them were tired. They didn't prepare. You know, you're thinking. That's the only messed up part about it. You don't get to tell people, thank you so much. You don't get to do that part. people go on right off into the sunset like little ghosts and you never <clears throat> I never see them again so it's okay though they're great people I used to miss miss them I don't miss them no more I just be like thank God I just be like thank God for meeting a lot of talented individuals who are smart and they're not afraid of afraid of being around other individuals with different you know studies so well well that's that for theatrics i hope i made you guys laugh i don't do interviews um even though individuals were quite grateful um to extend certain type of olive branches i don't do interviews and i just like to chop it up with people i don't like to i don't want to discuss technology or the evolution of tech or lack thereof so or something went wrong but it's okay because we know that computers are not always perfect and neither are humans which is why civilian it specialists should never have played games with cybersecurity. So with that being said, I miss hanging out in the YouTube streets. It's a little bit too toxic for me. 
Um, but I know how to say hello. Hola, como estas? Hola, como estas? How are you guys doing? My Spanish is rusty. I don't know if it's hablamos or hablamos. Habla español poquito. Pon papeles aquí o en la ventana, por favor. Mira ya para tu mero. Escribe de seguro de social aquí. Got it. Gracias. Y'all can get Rosetta Stone if you want to learn a second language. I didn't use Rosetta Stone and I didn't get a free one either. Generals, <laughs> I'm just teasing. Um, no, I didn't get a free one though. Other individuals, they can get free Rosetta Stone. They don't dare So if I have, that's my only disappointment. I should know more Spanish than I do. So sometimes I can kick myself. I also want to kick myself because I should have, should have been an attorney. But I'm like, even with the diverse stuff, we still have to know laws. We still have to know how it operates, basically. So that's the great, unique point of diversity, Jordan. With real higher learning, that's not doctrinated. That's not indoctrinated, I mean. So that's why I'll be laughing at these attorneys. We don't need your board license. <laughs> never have, never will need it. And individuals with a higher clearance already kind of put some bullshit to the side anyway. <laughs> and that's why these zombies and sheep who like to steal money out of DFAS and steal people's freaking identity and misuse their social security number. That's why they were pissed off and they had to find other legal ways to steal more money and more money and more money. The part the gig is up. We busted that party up intellectually. Without supercomputers, Elon Musk. I don't even know who Elon is. He's a very fascinating character. Or caricature. I don't know who that guy is. I don't even know if he's real. I'm not saying that he's not. I'm saying I've never met the guy. And don't want to. <laughs> Anyways, y'all. I'm so goofy. People used to be like, you're so serious. Lighten up a little bit. And then I lighten up a little bit in a flag channels and shit. <laughs> okay, zombies. I'm not here for you, apparently. But yeah, individuals don't do people. People know legal, and I also know jargon as well. Like Jordan said, the word, the the word procedure, procedural, yeah, procedural. You can use that in different realms too, especially legal, procedural, and substantive laws matter. Real process matter. Real input and output matters. I object, Your Honor. <laughs> you can tell when dummies don't have enough legal expertise because they don't, they wouldn't. First of all, real individuals would never execute fake drafts. <laughs> Scooby Dooby Doo. Jordan Peterson, he doesn't know about law, y'all. He's a clinical psychologist. He's very amusing when he want to be. He's very amusing. I won't go. I won't take the ticket to see his show, so. Because you're not going to learn anything. <laughs> You'll learn how to be a liar. <laughs> you might learn how to make excuses. You might learn how to call these kleptomaniacs. <laughs> You, you might learn, <laughs> you're not going to learn anything about mental health fraud. You're not going to learn anything over that in Jordan's, you know, world. Jordan has his own social realm and world and universe. And then I myself as a pupil underneath very smart individuals, you know, that's non-liberal. Some of them are non-liberal. And even when they were liberals, they know I will walk out of your class if we start talking about all these isms and stuff like that. We don't say that it doesn't that it doesn't exist. We just say now that the magnitude that these sheep and zombies will like the American people to think or fake believe. So I truly love sociology. I love behavioral sciences. Um, I don't analyze people, but I do curse people out when I see that they're using psychology for bad and evil deeds. That pisses me off. 
Uh, I'm humanistic. Um, I operate by humanity. I'm spiritual. I also, I, I, I don't even know. I don't like religion, so I'm Baptist, but I don't go to church. I used to as a little girl. Uh, churches are not. I'm I'm good, God. Thank you. <laughs> God is my divine supreme, and I curse like a sailor. So I'm pretty sure that the real, uh, holy individuals in the universe, they pray for sinners like me and yourselves. We curse like sailors. So I'm, it's real holy individuals because I've met a real nun before. And she wasn't begging for any money or anything like that. She was just looking like, this. these worlds sure have changed. I say, yeah, their worlds have changed. So even if it feels like we're walking into the same world, individuals are not living in reality. They created their own plastic universes. And it's so weird. Real scientists, they understand it because <clears throat> especially if they are in closed environments to where they get to analyze individuals in their natural habitats. <clears throat> I'm not bubbles, so I don't belong in a cage. And neither does knowledge. Meaning, never box yourself into, never, yeah, don't box yourself into where you have to pick a side. I'm not playing those black and white games. And I've never seen white people as white as paper. <laughs> Might be pale. I don't play them games. I let people, I give them a chance to hang themselves with ropes, basically. And we give them zombies and sheep so much rope. <laughs> this is not my joke, y'all. I'm stealing it. We give them so much rope. They're they're gonna, they're gonna, like, they hung themselves. Other individuals never run out of rope because they're very creative. And when I say creative, they just know how to communicate they know how to have a good time. They know how to make each other laugh. And they also have, a, you know what I'm saying, communication skills that are not subpar darlings. And then what are the, what are the other individuals? The sheep, you're like, what is mirroring? It definitely doesn't mean imitating individuals because in real theater arts, it's like individuals have a line. It's like improv, stupid. <laughs> But other individuals who are not theater art majors, which I don't understand. I don't remember theater arts jargon anymore. I had to erase that from my memory bank because I'm not an actress. Um, They get it. They definitely get it. And that's why they're so funny <laughs> and hilarious. Those are the real comedians. Other sheep and zombies, they have different types of, I don't even call it comedy. I just like go back to the drawing board, darlings. It's not even funny. So this was very um, therapeutic, talking to the American people. So yeah, that's why people do improv. I don't do it as good as other people, but I try. I do other stuff. And my project is finished, and I term in my project in 2015, sir. And I'm so glad that individuals put fake loans in my name. And they did other horrible stuff to other people who had nine years in the service, sir. Uh, had I finished school in three years, I would have just been in la-la land. I would have been naive. I would have been like, oh, my, this is very weird. But because individuals put those loans in my name and because they thought that they were going to stick it to me and do some type of revenge as payback, this is what they created. Well, they didn't create this. So, like the government created, I am not Frankenstein. <laughs> I am a human. And I'm not artificial intelligence, even though <laughs> I know how to communicate with robots who communicate effectively. I know how to communicate. I don't have to communicate with supercomputers. I wanted to show military personnel who are based that I can't operate without even having to click that 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 and I also know how to uh, identify certain things I also know how to 
tell shit from sugar. Wouldn't civilians like to know? So yeah, the generous do not deserve to even have a page of classified information published. <laughs> and first of all, the classified information will have to be declassified. And it's a whole entire process for that. And then individuals have to sit at round table and say, are we going to share one page, one report? Or are we just going to give them a blank page and say, scooby dooby doo Here's the blank. <laughs> so, yeah, these degenerates don't deserve to know about classified information. Nor the declassified that's not, that hasn't been published. Declassified information has been spoken about, no matter the subject realm, Mr. Jordan Peterson. So you can speak about legal, you can speak about mental health, clean mental health. You can speak about real process, you can speak about anal anal analyzing, you can speak about personal identifiable information, you can speak about the importance of data management and integrity in uh, data entry. You can, We can speak about sociology, we can speak about human behavior, uh, his interactions amongst humans that's important to me sir you can speak of they shut down my command station on twitter and i'm no longer pissed off i'm like hooray you know um we can speak about a lot of stuff i know what i don't do i don't use psychology for evil purposes like other individuals in the youtube street so that's why i do not get along with them and they're they would never be my peers nor my colleagues sir so that's the universal point of it all. And with that, I yield back to Congress. <laughs> I like when they say that, I yield back. I yield back. That's funny. And I don't like them all. I only like old school conservatives. and Because conservatives do not try to tell people who to sleep with, how to live your lives. Oh, if I give you a cute carrot, I want you to do a magic trick. Or I want you to flip upside down, twirl around in circles, and touch your head and pat your stomach. No, they don't do all that. So, I'm not conservative like other individuals. There are hoteps who like to steal people's money and say, buy this, buy that. But they are not real conservatives. They just figured out that Trump supporters and other types of people who support certain people, they are consumers. So, they like to be like, oh, we'll just trick certain type of individuals into thinking that we care about politics all they wanted to do was disrupt disrupt conversations and discussions and they also wanted to disrupt politics itself so i don't engage in politics and the politics is with they hotep and bullshit they clickbait shit they cloud chase shit if i want the cloud chase i know how to write a song i can write just about anything I've written people's speeches. I'm tapping on my leg, y'all. I've written individual speeches. So, yeah, that's the boring life of the basement. Right now, I'm in a closet, though. Not in the closet like that, but I'm in a closet... Um, and I'm about to pick out some socks that match. <laughs> Normally I'll be walking around, not in heels, darlings, and not in boots. I walk around in mismatched socks. <laughs> Cause I don't walk around in tennis shoes. Matter of fact, you'll have to take your shoes off. So... Anyway, y'all, I hope the individuals who truly engage in individuals who shared their stories, shared their comedy, shared their different worlds with other people without having to feel that you have to be judged, without people calling you a coon or a racist because you ask questions or you pose different types of questions or you speak about things that no one else would speak about. So congratulations to individuals who have their own identities, individuals who have paved their own ways, individuals who create their own tables without feeling like they have to give their tables off to make other zombies and sheep comfortable, darlings, or sirs, gentlemen, ladies, congratulations to you. 
and good luck in all of your endeavors. I've reached my maximum. You're never going to see me on television. Um, I like mediocre, boring stuff. And I wish I would have went to Jamaica if I knew that this was going to take so long. But I finished my homework, Jordan. And I use Mr. Peterson's name, but don't you ever insult my intelligence ever again. Real scholars don't do that. And they have never, they have never done that to me. So I'm fine, Colonel Potter. I'm fine being around base service members. That's all I know. I don't need any new friends. I don't need people to understand me. Understand why I solved the largest OPM breach in American history. To civilians, it's not a big deal, but individual squander other people's retirement and so that's the point and that's why i was pissed off and i was also pissed off because individuals tried to destroy my education that i worked hard for Colonel Potter be, he's a little socially disconnected. He keeps cramming. I don't need to listen to other individuals because I have enough material. It's not even about the material. Individuals, um, I don't like them because <laughs> they're liars. So Colonel Potter doesn't get it. He don't even know what part they lie about. But And I don't care because other individuals, they know where my heart is. And it's with the Constitution and the people. And it's also with using real supercomputers without trying to screw people's lives up. Civilians don't have to worry about that because they really truly don't have that much to offer like that. And for those who do have that much to offer, it's because they put in the blood, sweat, tears. They put in the work. So I yield back to Peterson talking about people, the zombies and sheep can't get their work done because they're too <clears throat> busy trying to figure out if people are attorneys, if they're essential workers. They should concentrate on their work and they should not have never, I mean, they should, yeah, they should not inject their personal feelings and personal bias. Because in other realms, we call that discriminatory practices, no matter the color and creed. So, the Constitution is the only thing that matters to me. And making people laugh matters to me. And I hope I I would have given you guys a movie, but I am not Quentin Quirk. What is it? Quentin Tarantino. I am not he, and he is not me. I'm not a director, however... <laughs> So I hope individual uh, individuals enjoy virtual entertainment. So welcome to the digital metaverse, y'all. The fun side. <clears throat> well, more like better. Meta has been claimed. I could kick myself. So I didn't coin that term metaverse. Other individuals did because they were on their jobs, I'm assuming. So I have to think of other stuff to coin create my own lane like I do and I did thank you to the individuals who had enough faith in me and I'm done I've been done since 2015 I don't even have to come here I didn't I didn't have to come in 2015 as I stated I could have stayed working on my assignments and projects in the basement transparency matters I could have stayed baking cookies. <laughs> anyway, y'all, shout out to individuals who um who love themselves. So I'll end it that. That's all I expect from you. Just love yourselves, and even if you go through trying times, never allow zombies and sheep to trick you out of your intellectual positions. Basically. And always worry about yourselves and you strive to be the best human that you can be on this earth. That's all I expect of you. Just love yourselves. Pat yourselves on the back. Celebrate yourselves but understand that there's one divine and supreme and that's God. So.
that's who I give most highest praise to, God. Um, shout out to individuals who are retired. Shout out to you guys. I'm getting sleepy. Um, so I'm about to end this. Even though I can go live, I'm not even, you're not going to see me going live too often. Because I don't like any trouble starters to come to my channel. And I'm just grateful to have been able to basically to see that individuals who come as they are, <clears throat> they don't care about what people think about them basically when it comes to their intellect or when it comes to their ability to um engage with other humans so shout out to you guys and girls this is a dark stream edition of crowns and tea with me greatly this is a psa a public service announcement because you'll never see me on tv and um i hope you guys have a wonderful i hope you guys had a wonderful weekend um learn how to take time out for yourselves to enjoy you know what i'm saying just to enjoy uh mother nature period so i guess i'll check and check talk to you guys later um i'm not gonna be here too often i will bounce in and bounce out if i see disinformation being spread around i don't attack people's channels um individuals will notice that majority of them are blocked from beef youtube sectors um so that's that so shout out to individuals who actually just was they like showed individuals that yeah i understand why i have certain passions when it comes to public administration so how's that for real diversity, Mr. Peterson? Eat your heart out. Who would imagine that a bear playing a piano <laughs> or other individuals chatting about different type of things that I have no desire for, <laughs> like entertainment, would have been able to have something in common such as social humor. It's been great, you guys. So they were able to give gifts to the universe and the gifts that I can give back is to say, pat yourselves on the back. This is not the Grammys and Oscars. You don't get any stupid trophies. <laughs> Shout out to y'all. Now I got to check. I will talk to you guys later.